Right, well, here we are. I believe this is video number nine on the Amazon MTurk series about logarithms. In this particular video, we are going to work on simplifying log to the base two of eight. In this video, we're going to take a little bit different approach than we have in our previous videos because we're going to construct the problem in a different way. We're going to build it up from the bottom up and see where it leads. The real question that this is asking is how many times do you need to multiply 2 by itself in order to get 8? We can write it in terms of an equation like this. y is equal to log to the base 2 of 8. So then we know that 2 to the y power is equal to 8. Uh, and then we can know times 2 to 2 to the cubed is 8, so y is equal to 3. That's the easy, that's the mathematical, that, that'll that get you all the points in a math test. How does it work, though? I like to start just by taking the number 2, multiplying it by 1, it's 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. Don't need to go any further than that in order for this problem to make sense. What you got? If we look, 8 is the number that we have in this logarithm, and 8 is the number that we have here. 2 times 4 is 8. So now we go and we find, oh, there's this other 4. Well, where do we see 4 in this chart that we can look at and or copy? Well, we see a 4 there. We see a 4 there. So we can take this expression for 4 and plops it right into that one there to get 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Now we count the 2's. 1, 2, 2, 2's, and 3. 3 times multiplying 2 by itself is 8. That is how you get y equals 3. Simply because you are multiplying 2 times 2 times 2. And this is the way to look at any problem as long as it's starting to get a little complicated as soon as things start to not make sense, break it down to the basics. It will never steer you wrong. It might take a little longer to do. I mean, it took a couple minutes to do it this way where you could have just plopped that down and got, oh, three is your answer. But I think that it makes an awful lot more sense to actually look at the workings behind the equation rather than just kind of taking the equation with a grain of salt. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for you. Look forward to seeing you in the next video, and talk to you later. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.